Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel with another video on the Yamaha RS7000 Groovebox from the early 2000s. And one thing you might need to know uh, when using this or planning to use this is how to create songs from your patterns. So we're going to take a look at that today and I'll just load one of my patterns, press the load button, then OK. And now let's just load one of these here and listen to this. All right, let's take this pattern and now let's add a string sound first. So I'll go to track select and select track number three. Then I go to mixer and uh, I'll select a pad effect like this one here. A oh, keyboard should be turned on. Let's take this sound. Okay, exit, and um, I'll just record manually. So go to pattern, press record and play, and here we go. E minor. Okay, so now let's also record some filter movement here. Let's listen to this. All right, so overdub and play. Okay, and uh, maybe some LFO, so let's test this. Now let's sync that LFO. Okay, so now let's record this. Okay, now um, I want to create a second pattern. And yeah, a pattern is called a style here. So let's press job and now go to pattern, and then copy pattern. And now we want to uh, copy style number one to style number two. Okay, do it. All right, exit. And now change the style. And uh, if we play this back, we should hear the same thing. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do now is just to edit some notes. And I want to go from E minor to A minor. And yeah, so let's just edit this pattern here. And now you can see the notes here, E, G, B. And let's just change them manually. So move the cursor. And the uh, E can remain the same, but we'll obviously have an A in there. Okay, do. And we'll have a C instead of the B, so do. So here are all the brightness events. Let's see. Let's change this to an F. All right, so now we need to change um, the bass. The bass should uh, change to um, A2, so let's go to the bass track. So let's take a look at that. 
the bass is playing on E and now I'll just uh, move it up so we need to um, use one, two, three, four, five, six semitones up so um, go back and uh, press job then select track transpose select oops select and yeah let's transpose from from e to a so six notes do so let's listen all right now um we've got our patterns in the bag um now like we want to arrange this so uh, the first pattern plays first and the second pattern uh, comes after that so let's go to pattern chaining mode and now uh, for the simplicity of it just press the edit button and now you can just select which of the patterns should start playing at which bar of our pattern chain so for example the first uh, pattern should play at the beginning and then we'll go to measure number five and now we want to play the second measure and um, after that we'll return to the first one yeah and that's it now press exit and now you can see we got these three buttons here light up they are representing um, the three patterns uh, that are now in the sequence and now just listen to this it should play back the patterns oh and one thing i forgot um, the beats per minute uh, can be set per um, sequence you're playing or per pattern you're playing and you have to readjust that okay <laughs> now let's listen again Yeah, and that's it. Pattern chaining um, on the R7000. And what you also can do is to convert this to a song. Just press the job button and then uh, select convert to song. Press OK and then just do that. I'm sure, yes, completed. So now if you go to the song menu, you should have um, those three patterns <laughs> aligned as a song and now you can start adding other things here if you use this as a keyboard. Alright, see you next time.